This match has traditionally gone one way. Admittedly, a lot of the matches featuring John have gone one way. Yes. Um, with the exception of, what, Ben? Yeah, the very first match. Since then, the man has found his stride. Um, but I have seen a lot out of Mike on his own. I've seen a lot out of, uh, like, Mike's strategy. And Kevin has talked a lot about what to do. Yeah. So it's not like these guys are not close to evenly matched. It's going to come down to opportunities. And in my opinion, what Wesker is able to do against Hagar. Right? Yeah. So Mike has, um, maybe letting the cat out of the bag a little bit. We'll see if he gets to show it off. He's been working on some Wesker resets. And actually looking at ways to two-touch kill um, efficiently. Yeah. The triangle offense, as yeah. we affectionately know it. Yeah. So he's worked on a couple of things. Um, in fact, he personally streams over at twitch.tv slash chinchilla index. If you wanted to catch him there. He's been streaming some of his practice sessions, and I popped through to see what he was up to. And he's um, he's been working on some stuff, mainly with Wesker, from what I had seen. There's definitely been more lab sessions off-stream, though. So I want to see what he can bring. Uh, he's going to need to bring the heat, though, because John has been very effective. He hasn't been digging too deep into the bag of tricks. People haven't been blocking pipe as much as he would like to because he's been developing a lot of mix-ups and other things to do after the lockdown. I'm but, glad to see everyone's developed their team colors. This is technology we've been waiting for for a long time. It's it's duly needed. Uh, getting in to game one. Tagar is holding up forward. Do, is Mike's... Tradition. Um, well, I guess we'll... It's not going to matter now, but... Uh, oh! It looked like he was opting for a reset there, but... Uh, uh, it is definitely hard to tell. Mike looks like he got caught out trying something. I don't know what he was walking forward for. X Factor really yeah. just wanted him dead. Wants the momentum. That Good is a fantastic block. block. And that's going to kill. Not the best combo, but that will kill probably. Yes, yeah. okay. That will kill. All right, so he's in. He gets to play. Simple block. Okay. So the Magneto combos are not seemingly that well versed, but. Oh, that's an arm? arm? No. Fear flame? No. Okay. Oh, oh, that was weird, but it. Okay. That All right. Could be with death. Throw. Okay, no, that's fine. another drop. Magneto versus Doom. A little bit of a visual hitch there. Yeah. Very, very soft with the combos on Magneto. That could have been a shockwave, but we take those. Mm -hmm. So we got Magneto, no. who's running low on health here. He may need to start throwing some supers. That's a bad dash. Okay, that trades. trades. And was a good oh. trade, but didn't really make the most of it. Yeah, he would have had to have recognized it was going to trade immediately. If it catches you off guard there, it may just he was not give there. you time he just to... He uh... didn't opt for anything afterwards. Well, what I'm saying is I don't think he knew it was going to trade. I think he thought yeah. it was going to beat it clean. So he was lining up something else to do. Okay, opened him up with Wesker. So we're actually going to see a little bit of what you were talking about. There's a reset. Yeah. Obviously Quick not doing reset. a whole lot of damage, but he has both of his assists. That's Ooh. what I was worried about. Yeah, it looks like was he overextended he... on that situation. He, he didn't do like a gunshot to leave him airborne, so now he tried yeah. to reset while Hagar was on the ground. That's he's mistake. always open to Lariat under those circumstances. I thought that That's was a, a little drop. low. Drop with no uh, punish. Um, again, uh, Cuomo spending X-Factor very early on, which is not necessarily a bad thing with his team, but it means now, well, okay, it's not going to matter anymore. I do, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Team Super is going to close it up. Coin. That was a very quick second game, despite the fact that Cuomo was losing in the initial moments. Yeah, and Cuomo has always been very aggressive with the X Factor, but I think it plays into the team very well. Oh, we wrestling? Oh, good launch. 
Have we have we talked about him using jam session as an assist? Not particularly. That's, um, an interesting choice. Before the matches were started, um, Cuomo, uh, sorry, not Cuomo, Tom was talking about how he doesn't like Wesker with jam session. And while it's not necessarily the best pairings or slash, like when you think in the grand scheme of things, is Wesker the best pairing for jam session? Not is jam session a good assist for Wesker? Yeah. Then no. But when you take a look at the way he's using jam session, he's using it relatively defensively and as a combo extender. It's not like he's throwing Would it down and doing I'd be inclined to believe that if he wasn't holding forward into Hagar at the beginning of the match. Um, well, that was only this game, though. In the, no, in that the was last, last game. The, he got grabbed at the beginning. He, they, they <laughs> teched each other's grab at the beginning of last match, too. It, it is a little bit of an issue where I don't think... Like... We can say that it's a defensive strategy, but the fact of the matter is... Oh, I'm not necessarily talking about the strategy itself, because the strategy looks to be back and forth, right? Yeah. If we're well, taking a I, look I just at think... the overall game plan, it looks like Mike is dashing in when he has a chance, and otherwise keeping Hagar out. But uh, I mean, I'm willing to say that the fourth is well-developed. The back could probably have used a little work. Um, and a lot of that is going to decide whether or not uh, he can survive Hagar. Is kind of the, the name of the game in this match. Arm? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to cut it. 3-0. It's, it's just tough to game plan when the, when the guy you're going up against is killing you off of one touch pretty much every time. Uh, there were a couple of drops in here, but the damage was overwhelming, and then it's neutral, and if you're not playing perfect keep away, things get hairy. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is a very difficult team to to plan against, especially because of Cuomo's willingness to use Lariat and X-Factor in tandem. They mm -hmm. make this very difficult. Without a doubt. That's a lot of damage on Doom here. Oh! That's unfortunate. That is definitely unfortunate. Is there a punish? I think that was a punish. It certainly seemed like it. Oh, that teleport. That was a good mix-up, but... That's, that's kind of the problem, though, is... We've seen it a bunch where players will go in against Hagar in a, in a session, uh, and, like, set him up while he's still grounded. And then they'll go for these big jump over cross ups and stuff, and it's like Hagar actually doesn't have to think about the situation that they're presenting because he's grounded, has access to Lariat. And you should not be pressing into what is very clearly a Lariat situation. In order to get those to work, you need to hide it in such a way that Hagar is not looking for it. I think the biggest the... issue. Uh, also, just to consider, is that not a lot of people are punishing his Lariat supers, his Lariat X factors. Yeah, it's harder, a hundred percent. Like, even I'll say, like, there is no set way to do it, because if he cancels properly, it's just, you know, he's just safe, or he's gonna have another character out. Um, yeah. oh, that's a punish. I don't know, whiff jab. Yeah, I, I, I think people should just be like, it, it's hard to say take more chances against Lariat, because that's technically what they're doing, and that's how they're getting hit. But you do have to opt to try and, you know, think... you have to neutralize the threat of Hagar, and sometimes that will just mean, like, try to punish Lariat, and if you can, X-Factor to kill him. You have to kind of use his own strategy against him, and that's yeah. going to be way more effective. Yeah, like, there's been very few times where people get a hit against Hagar and then X-Factor. Yeah. Um, but another thing that I'd like to mention, because you see when Lariat is blocked, there's not a lot of response most of the time. It's usually people push blocking, and then Hagar is safe. And it, you kind of have to try to take your opportunity there to to at least try to hit him. You can't just let him go back to neutral where you guys aren't really threatening. So to speak. Even a character like Wesker has a physical counter. Um, it's not the best, but it, you can react to Hagar super with it. Uh, so it, it, it is, it's a I, little strange. I would that hesitate there's... to say you actually can react because it, it may, it might be too slow. Straight up. 
that that super in particular really sucks yeah but to be fair like in a lot of these situations he can just dhc to dante and make it safe yeah. and if cuomo x factors like uh, you still have a safe DHC out of it, or no, you know, no. I, I think you misunderstand what I'm saying there, Andrew. All I'm saying is that if you react to Hagar Super with counter, you may get hit out of the startup of counter. That's something I could, I could attempt to experiment with and see. But yeah. uh, I think reacting at all is still preferable at this stage. Oh, sure, absolutely. I'm not saying that the the efforts shouldn't be made to try and find an answer to the situation after he blocked Lariat. Or I think what's more pressing is rather than the situation for a blocked Lariat, knowing when you're setting up um, one of your mix-ups that Hagar has a great Lariat opportunity right there. The amount of yeah. times that I've seen um, John hit Lariat in response to a teleport, in response to an air dash, in response to um like a jump in type thing it's countless the guy just looks for them to jump at him and he just presses the two buttons and he doesn't care about your assist now yeah if you want to run a mix up like that you have to let him get into block stun first and then have yourself some sort of a what's traditionally known as a safe jump it's hard to establish in, in marvel because of how tight the windows are we're dealing with but a gap after he comes out of block stun where he might be disincentivized from pressing Lariat immediately because he's blocking something. I think one other thing, I think before we move on, one other thing I would like to see moving forward in the series is more people... Because Cuomo, when he's pushed out, takes to the sky very easily, and he will just jump heavy or jump pipe right into Lariat because he. I think he's assuming people are just aren't going to block his follow-up. I would like to see more people get just get out of the landing zone. Um... I, I think mm -hmm. they're giving him a free hit on what is not even a, like a relatively safe uh, uh, like strategy. And it's it's kind of, I think it, it's, it, it is, uh, it's putting people on tilt. I would say, I, I agree. I think the best solution to that is to just avoid it entirely. There's no reason for a lot of these players to be sitting still as Hagar comes at you from the top row. Yeah. Now, when he does a normal jump, don't try to dash under him. But when he takes all the way to the sky and super jumps, dash either full screen to a point where he's not going to touch you or dash underneath him and get out of the corner or get back to mid screen. Or Especially if you've be. already pushed him back far enough away anyway. Like, if you've successfully done that, I, I think you probably have a good idea of how to either get away from him, move around him, kind of create space between the two. So I think uh, I would like to see more of that moving forward. 